Guess what? You don't have to buy Photoshop to get access to all the awesome functionality. Let me explain. So I go on vacation every year to my mom and dad's place in Florida. I take my family down there and I have a little laptop. It's a PC. And in order to have access to Adobe Photoshop on my laptop, I need to go into my desktop and disable the licensing on that version on my desktop and then activate it on my laptop. Well, I brought all my files, I'm a web developer, I brought all my files and all my work stuff and put it in there, but I forgot to transfer the license. So when I arrived in Florida, opened up my laptop because I was on a call with a client, they were telling me that they had a new employee and they needed to have his face put into the bio page, right? And I needed to extract the background around the person's face to put him in so it looked like everybody else on the website. I open up my laptop, I go in to open up Photoshop, and boom, I get hit with this prompt that says that I never transferred the license over, and I didn't have access to the software, and it was like I lost my wallet. It was like, no, no, no I, you know, what am I going to do? I don't have access to the program. So I was forced to go online and look for a solution, and I found this absolutely killer absolutely amazing online application. It's called Photopea. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It sounds like a disease that you get when you stare at your phone too long, but this software is absolutely incredible because it works just like Photoshop, does everything that Photoshop does, has layers, has effects, all the stuff that Photoshop does except all the unnecessary bells and whistles. So in this video, I'm going to provide a tutorial that will be highly valuable for OBS users because we're gonna bring an image in, extract the background, and then import that transparent ping file into OBS Studio for use in any way that you wish. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. <laughs> okay, we're at photop.com. I think initially I said it was pronounced photopia. That is not correct. I think it's pronounced photop. Photop.com. It does not sound like a disease. Okay, uh, let's drag in an image here. I've got a photo of a bird. Okay, we'll drag this in. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is uh, remove this brown background, right? So we're going to click the W key, just like Photoshop, or just click this wand here. But I'll click the W key on my keyboard, and it selects the wand. And I have the tolerance set to 55. By setting that tolerance to that high number, it tells the system to grab more of that variant color. So when I place my pointer on that color, it grabs it all. If I hold the Shift key and then select this darker brown here, it'll grab that too. And upon selecting all that light brown color, I'm gonna go into the Layers palette over here, and this icon in the lower right-hand corner says Add Another Layer. So I'll click that, and it puts a new transparent layer above the background. I'm gonna drag it below it, then select the, the background image, which is the bird, and hit Delete, and it will delete that color and leave transparency. How cool is that? That is exactly how Photoshop works, no joke. So I will now hit Control D to deselect, which is just like Photoshop, and I'm going to go into this teardrop icon, which is the blur tool, and I'm just going to make that edge on the bird's fur or feathers just a little bit fuzzy so the blur looks a little bit more cool, I guess you could say. So I'll just go through this and make sure that edge is just a slight, has a slight blur to it because it looks better when you place them on top of other objects. So I'll just go through and do that and then I'm going to click the pointer icon and select transform controls and I'm gonna rotate his head just a little bit like that and then hit the check mark and it commits to that change and now that I've tilted him I'm going to remove the bottom part of that neck there so that the cutoff line is equal there you go so now that what I'm going to do is add some text by clicking the T and I'll click once in the edit square and I'll type the word oh my god okay and move that down below his neck and there is a effect button down here at the bottom of the layers palette if I click it it brings up this thing and I want to select stroke and it gives me the layer style, just like in Photoshop. Everything's the same. 
I'm going to click this palette here and put my cursor over his eye and capture that orange color. Okay, cool. And I'll drag that over so it's super bright and hit OK. Now the stroke is sort of closer to the way his eyes look. I'll hit OK to the effects palette and I'm going to make sure that I select the bird's head right now and go into image and adjustments and select vibrance just like Photoshop. Boost up the vibrance a little bit so the color looks cool. Excellent. Hit OK. And now what I'll do is I will right click on the Oh My God text and commit it by rasterizing it. So now it's converted to bitmap and I'm going to combine both the bird and the background image by holding my shift key, right clicking and merging those layers. All right. So after doing that, I'm going to go and change the size of the canvas by drawing a square here and just making it smaller. So the canvas size fits the graphic and hit the checkbox. Okay. And I'm now going to export it. So file export as PNG. Okay. I'm going to keep the quality full bore. I'll hit save and save it as this bird head name. I'll hit save. It goes into my downloads folder, open up OBS studio, go into scene three here, which has some flame that's looping, go into my downloads folder, find the file and drag it right into the source window. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller than what it, because the viewing area is pretty big here. So I'll just drag them up and there you have it. I mean, you can't, it's just incredible what you can do with this program. So I highly recommend that you use it because it's absolutely free and all the controls are exactly like Photoshop. And if you figure out how to use this fluently and you have some money in the bank after a while and you decide to go with buying an Adobe product, you will actually understand how to use Photoshop with no worries because you've been working with this program, PhotoP. If you want to watch a video that discusses how to make OBS a music visualizer, this is an epic video. Check out this tutorial right here. You'll absolutely love it. I will see you over there. Best wishes, stay strong, and keep fighting.